Good afternoon. Welcome to the Staffordshire Worcestershire Canal. <laughs> it's Groundhog Day. I poured tea all over me this time. I poured it from the flask. It's, uh, it's gone over me, but again, it's uh, not uh, not too hot because I've got my trousers on there, my over trousers, and my suit. <laughs> Oh, I'll just drink this little bit because there is a boat coming. Now, where was I? Welcome to the canal. An afternoon session. It's a beautiful dry day. I'm wet <laughs> down there though. That'll dry out quickly. And hopefully there won't be too many boats coming through because I'm looking to have a nice, pleasurable, relaxed couple of hours on the cut, as it's known where I'm from. I know I can spread my wings a little bit further at the moment now that the COVID re restrictions have been relaxed. However, I'm extremely busy with work until the middle of May. That's when the season ends, a football season. And I've still got loads of stuff to do uh, house-wise with the move. It's one of those moves that doesn't just happen in a, in a few days. We've been able to spread it over a period of time and I've got a fish before the boat even comes through. Let me net this and I'll be back. It's a small perch. I haven't caught my favorite species for a while. So I'm certainly happy to get off the mark with this one. The boat will be here in a moment or two. This is going back. I'll have another cup of tea, hopefully not pour it all over myself and then get some more fish on the bank. No comments on YouTube, just a time management thing. Nothing untoward going on. Let me pull this cup of tea away, away from me, just to be on the safe side. However, as I often mention, you can post on my website, on the homepage, there's a, a guest book stroke comments section. And Andrew Roper, I've been talking recently about gudging on the canal. And he commented on that. And also the fact that he used to catch stone loach from Coven, which is the other side of Wolverhampton from where I am today. And Chris Jones posted, and he's going to do some lure fishing soon. It's great, Chris, you'll really enjoy it. It's a lovely way to spend half an hour, an hour or more on the canal, because he lives quite local as well. Walking up and down these summer evenings, well, it feels like summer at the moment, it is, really still spring but these summer type evenings are great because the fish are very active as well the water temperatures up lots of movement and i can't say you will catch every time because that's not true if you lure fish but the more time you spend on the bank moving along as well that's the key because inevitably sooner or later you will hit fish so enjoy chris and I also hope you get some amphibians in your pond shortly as well. My tadpoles are doing great. I was watching them today, really coming on. So looking forward to froglets in due course. It's usually the roach start and the perch move in and they move on. However, the reverse so far this evening. Second species of the session and it's a small roach. I've just netted this one. I use the net. They don't have to be big for the net to be used. It means you're not lifting them out of the water. And of course you can lose the fish, but also it's kinder to the fish as well. Some joggers were going past and they stopped while I netted the fish and they had a look at it. And they said to me, is that for the pot? And I said, no. I said, I'm a vegetarian anyway. And anything with a face I don't eat. Plus, of course, fish are my friends. 